This is part two of a set of videos demonstrating how to do the Chapter 6 database assignment from Velasich and Schneider using WordPress, MySQL, and phpMyAdmin. Part two covers importing the files into a database using phpMyAdmin. We have our four CSV files. Now we log into cPanel to create our database. In cPanel, scroll down to the Databases section. Click MySQL Databases. First, we need to create the database and make sure it can be accessed by WordPress. For new database, enter Campus for Campus Travel. That's what we will call our database. Click Create Database and then go back. Next, scroll down to Add User to Database. We want to add the WordPress user to the Campus Database. Click Add. Give the user all privileges. Click Make Changes. Go back. As we see under Current Databases, the WordPress user is a user of the Campus Database. Click Home at the top to return to the cPanel screen. Now we are ready to add the four tables to our Campus Database. In cPanel, Scroll down to the Databases section again. Click phpMyAdmin. In phpMyAdmin, you will notice on the left shows our databases. There is the database that WordPress uses. Notice there are tables on the side and tables listed here. Click localhost at the top to return to showing our databases on the side. Click on Campus. Of course, there are no tables. We need to import them. So, click Import at the top. Under File to Import, click Browse to find your first file. Let's pick Destination. Make sure Format is on CSV. The defaults all hold except Click the first line of the file contains the table column names. If this is unchecked, the first line will become part of the data. Make sure that it is checked and click Go. You will notice it appears now on the left with just a generic table name. You will notice that when you click the table name, you see the rows of the table. When you click the table icon on the left of the, of the name, you get the table structure. This corresponds to the tabs at the top. Under Structure, we will make the adjustments to the field definitions that we talked about. Change the dest underscore ID field so the length is 11. 11 decimal digits is the normal size for a signed integer taking up 4 bytes of storage. Click Save. For the destination, this is a character field. Varchar stands for Variable Length Character and can be up to 255 characters. Let's change it to a more reasonable length, like 50. Click Save. Now we need to specify the primary key for this table because the destinations are going to be referred to by a number in the other tables when we really want the name. So click the checkbox next to dest underscore ID and click the primary key button down below. This will also take care of our no index defined error here we see at the bottom. And the no index defined error at the bottom is gone. The last thing we need to do is to rename the table. Click the Operations tab at the top. Under Table Options, rename the table to Destination. Also, and this is important, change the storage engine to INNODB. INNODB supports foreign keys, which we are using. 
the default engine, my ISAM, does not support foreign keys. We will see later why foreign keys are important as a protection mechanism to maintain the integrity of the database. Click Go. And we see the table has been renamed and assumed assumes its new position on the left sidebar. Next, let's import the Office table. Select the office.csv file. Make sure the first line of the file contains the table column names box is checked and click Go. Click the new table on the left. Click Structure. Change Office underscore ID to 11 digits. Save. Change location to 50 characters. Save. Make office underscore ID the primary key. And the no index defined error is gone. To rename the table, click operations at the top. Change the table name to office. Change the storage engine to INNODB. Click Go, and here it is. Now let's import the sales agent table. Select the sales underscore agent dot CSV file. Make sure the first line of the file contains column names box is checked and click Go. Click the new table on the left. Click Structure. Change sales underscore agent to 11 digits. Save. Change the name to something more reasonable, like 50 characters. Save. We will take care of the office field in a moment, but let's make sh sure the sales agent is the primary key. And the index defined error is gone. Let's rename the table by clicking operations at the top and changing the table name to sales underscore agent. Change the storage engine to INNODB. Click go. Now let's take care of the office field. When we browse, we see that the office field is actually an index into the office table. We say that the office field is a foreign key into the office table. We see that Ben's office is number six, when in the office table it is actually Seattle. The fact that this office column here in the sales underscore agent table corresponds to the office underscore ID column in the office table can be specified and enforced by the database. To do this, we want to update the structure of the sales underscore agent table. First, let's change office to a regularly sized integer of 11. Click Save. Then we need to make office an index. Click the box next to office and click the index button here. Now we will specify the relationship between the office column in the sales underscore agent table with the office underscore ID column in the office table. Click the relation view below the list of columns. Here is where we specify that a column in this table is a foreign key referencing an indexed column in another table. For, the, for our office column here in the sales underscore agent table specify the office underscore ID field in the office table as its relation. This specifies the office column as a foreign key into the office table. Click Save. Now we notice when we browse the sales underscore agent table 
the office values are links to the corresponding record in the office table. When we click on 6 for Ben's office, we get Seattle in the office table. In fact, if we try to delete Seattle, we get an error message telling us it cannot be deleted because a foreign key constraint fails. Sales underscore agent foreign key office references office underscore ID in the office table. Finally, let's import the sales table. Select the sales.csv file. Make sure the first line of the file contains the table column names box is checked and click Go. Click the new table on the left. Click Structure. Change sales underscore ID to 11 digits. Save. Make date a date field. Save. Make sales agent 11 digits. Save. Change amount to a field type for representing dollars and cents. I like to use decimal, maximum of nine places with two decimal places, which can hold a booking amount of up to $999,999.99. That's a penny short of a million. Click Save. Change destination to a full-sized 11-digit integer. Click Save. Now make the sales ID the primary key. Let's rename the table by clicking Operations at the top and changing the table name to Sales. Change the storage engine to INNODB. Click Go. Now we need to set up the Sales underscore Agent column as a foreign key into the Sales underscore Agent table and the destination column as a foreign key into the destination table. First, set sales underscore agent to an index by checking the box next to sales underscore agent and clicking index below. Click the box next to the destination and click the index button below. Now click on relation view below the index button as before. Specify the sales underscore agent field in this table as a foreign key into the sales underscore agent table linked to the sales underscore agent column. Link the destination column to the DST, DEST underscore ID column in the destination table. Click Save. And click the, the campus database link at the top and this is what our final structure screen looks like. This completes the creation of our database. When you are done, submit PDF printouts of the data dictionary of your database along with a print view of the structure for the sales agent and the destination tables. For the data dictionary, click the campus screen at the top for the database structure screen. Click the data dictionary, not print view. The data dictionary link below the list of tables. Scroll to the bottom and click the print button. On the Sales Structure screen, below the list of fields, click the Print View link. Click the Print button at the bottom. Finally, 
on the sales underscore agent structure screen, click print view and print. This completes what you need to hand in from PHP MyAdmin for your database.